Wow, Leo, oh my god, you do have two of cups and the lovers. We cut the cards with the two of cups and the lovers. Um, Gemini energy. Some of you might be dealing with a Gemini, but boy, this is overwhelming love. Two of cups is a, it's a spiritual union, body, mind, and soul. The lovers is a physical one. It's choosing love. It's um, uh, being tied up, right? Tied to the hip. Two of cups, six of pentacles, reci reciprocation. Um, so whoever you gave your love to, um, Leo, they will give it back. Not in a sense that take your love back and go, but in the sense of, hey, guess what? I love you too. Well, that's the Six of Pentacles. It's also about making decisions. It's also about, um, you know, energies of balancing a connection, so on and so forth. And peace of mind. Two of Cups, Six of Swords. Finally having peace of mind in love. Oh, you'll hear a beat. Oh my God, you'll have a sound. I do believe we have some um, some music over here. Um, two of Cups, you'll hear some beat. Oh boy, this is beautiful. Sorry, right in front of my house, that is a beat. Somebody playing. Two of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, stability, love, emotions, um, legacy, children, financial stability, home. Um, somebody asking your hand in marriage because two of uh, ten of pentacles is a marriage card and the three of pentacles partnership and love and the two of cups was all through the shuffling Leo the two of cups so that is love both ways and that is a desire to make it stable so let's see who this person is and I know you'll hear the beat oh my god they are aligning in front of my house and that is Beautiful. Leo, bottom of the deck, we do have the full new beginnings, right? You know, I wonder if I should continue the reading, but I am going to do it. Guess what? We do have the full. We have a new leap of faith. We have a new beginning. Um, we do have, like, um, it, I don't think this is impulsive, but if this is absolutely about a clean slate to a loving situation that you have with somebody and again two of cups was all over the place so leo past energy is on your side you have to let me know if you hear the beat in the um, in the video and if you enjoy it it's really like live music and something and mutual energies let's have current energies on your side the person you are dealing with and the mutual energies and let's have the possible outcome on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. Bottom of the deck, the Hermit, Virgo energy, and the Emperor. Oh my God, you have so many masculine energies. Leo, what's going on? Oh boy, you'll have to choose. Guess what? Six of Pentacles is about choosing. You might have to choose between two people. One is King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, and one is Aries. Maybe that's a new beginning. We leave behind somebody for somebody else. Well, if you ask me, an emperor, he is the king of all kings. I'm just saying, you know, if really you have to choose and this is your reading and you are like, oh, Michelina, can you please help me choose? Well, let me tell you, judging by tarot, not an <laughs> it's anyways. I hope you'll use a better judgment anyways if this is about the masculine energies that we need to choose from. Um, absolutely, I'm picking up energies of um, choices. So, Leo in the past, the strength, this is absolutely your energy and it is paired with the Two of Pentacles, the energy of working hard for this connection, the energies of taking responsibilities, uh, Two of Pentacles, the energy of choices, um, is the energy of taking extra work, is the energy of, oh my god, I have to keep everything up and running, plus I need to be beautiful because you show up here with the strength card, I have to be myself, I have to be beautiful, I have to be strong, I have to be courageous, I have to um, get through this, right, and, uh, and be, um, you know, my higher self because that's how you, um, you choose this. This is also speaks of how much you gave of yourself. A lot actually if that is one the strongest one um, actually here it's about um, how much you gave of yourself and how um, much effort you put into this and 
um, and also asked you to work on your balance, right? And to work on your um, responsibilities and on yourself for some of you. Because this is, I'm not going to lie, this is a lot of um, quest for stability with the Two of Pentacles and for some of you it's, um, yeah, I'm not going there. But hey, Leo, this person of yours, they have the Page of um, Swords. This is the energy of getting smarter. This is the energy of communication, the energies of having idea, developing a vision while being away from you because we have them in the Four of Swords in the past. So probably you separated a while ago. For some of you, it can be four years, right? Why not? You do have eight and you do have four. So we know the double and so in tarot in general. Um, but it is in silence and it is in healing, right? Four of Swords is the energy of healing of the mind, but also healing through the mind because we have Page of Swords and we have the Four of Swords again. Energies of, um, of thinking, energies of contemplating, planning, strategizing. It goes after the Three of Swords, so they um, might have been kind of broken hearted over what happened uh, between the two of you. And then in the process, they got enlightened and smarter with the Page of Swords and with the genius idea. Mutual energies between the two of you, um, Leo, a lot of guilt and regrets between the two of you, a lot of missing. Five of Cups is the energy of missing, mourning a loss, longing for somebody, uh, being kind of disappointed how things went and probably what happened was this blocking nine of wands is the energy of blocking is the energy of self-protection uh, You might have blocked them. They might have blocked you and it is the energy of stay away Right, and then and then we had regrets because we shouldn't have um, That is the energy of five of cups, right? um I would say it's a different, I do hope you hear the beat, oh my god, I believe there is something in it. The beat is just amazing. It sends a vibration right up to me, I don't know what's going on, but I'm not going, I'm really going to post this. I hope you hear the sounds and, um, and the beat. Um, so, um, such a beautiful energy you are coming from a different kind of energy leo with this person um you have pentacles and your own royal self while this person came from a place of um, mind with the swords um swords we know it's about being cold it's about it's about being detached it's about doing what's right that kind of energy and um so they might you know they came to this connection with this energy of uh, of coldness and swords and brain and uh, uh you know the energy of well this is going to be this way and um but again it was covering some hurt with the four of swords again comes after the three of swords um so that was recovery and that was idea coming and that was the hermit mode probably between the two of you um, a lot of wisdom, a lot of thinking, a lot of soul searching, uh, a personal journey for you, for them. Um, and that's how we got even in the past with the energy of Five of Cups, right? I really miss Leo and probably you thought the same about this person. So what are we right now? What's going on, Leo? Oh, we can't choose the Emperor, right? We do have the Three of Swords and the Emperor. You do have the Emperor twice here. So you might be dealing with an Aries and that is some pain connected to this. Uh, maybe we are recovering. Maybe the person you are dealing with is an Aries and actually we are, right? We've been strong in the past, but now somehow we look at the pain that was caused. Um, for some of you, it can be you taking control. You do have the Aries twice and I'm kind of sensing this energy up because in the past you already were successfully juggling the situation and kind of in control and staying strong maybe right now it's about having a plan um you know taking control of this um whatever situation that is still stressful and painful um gives us headaches right that's a three of swords it gives us pain and we might come up with a plan here and with the emperor energy and saying you know what i am going to do things differently and now I know I'm going to be smart about and quite objective, right? Um, you might be working with this person. The emperor can be a boss, can be somebody, a male figure, and maybe you had a connection with them. 
Um, that is a percentage of older than you. Um, but hey, right? And um, we ha we still have this in our in in our energy, don't we, Leo? Three of Swords, Two of Pentacles. We still have this. Um, and you come absolutely from a place of power with the strength and the emperor, right? This, I mean, it kind of like the strongest cards and the strongest energies um, in there are showing up, saying, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna recover. We're gonna we're gonna take control and we're gonna have a plan and we're gonna follow it step by step. We're gonna get organized for some of you, some of us, not just you, me included, right? We're gonna get organized and we're gonna um, manage things better because the emperor is a manager, so. Um, yeah, we are still hurting a bit. We are still missing them. That is this is this energy still of blockages with the nine of wands, still of bandages and feeling hurt. Um, anyways, now this person of yours, they are in the king of cups energy and the nine of cups. Most certainly you are their wish fulfillment. Now I am kind of concerned, Leo, and I don't know whose energy I picked up, but we do have twice the emperor, king of pentacles, king of cups a lot of masculine energies and can be um you know can be we, we can embody energies of uh, of action as the uh, the kings right or the energies of emotional maturity they are not on your side except the emperor so i'm kind of um believing that you get your power back actually and um and we 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 i don't want to say get smarter because i'm sure you, even in the past just by the looks of it and the feels of it with the energies right Two of Pentacles is a smart energy to keep everything up and running, so um, you've been smart about, but there is a sense of power and there is a sense of control and a sense of organization and a sense of, I am going to kill it. I'm going to be so good at this, you know? And this is recovery and this is wisdom and this is enlightenment, that I'm um, staying strong and having a plan and having your... Um, um, clean slate with a full, because remember the first card out was actually the full, which is a new chapter. So now this person of yours, um, right now they are in this loving energy. They went from swords. It's like, you know, I can cut you, you know, I have power, I have strength and I can cut you with my words. That was the, uh, you know, um, the energy in the past. And uh, with my coldness, I can absolutely transform you in ice. Guess what? Now they are moving towards cups. We do have the King of Cups and the Nine of Cups. So that is a lot of loving energies that I have for you. Nine of Cups is the energy of wish fulfillment, is the energy of desire, of wanting, uh, following their dreams. And the King of Cups is a big cup of love. It's like, um, and it's mature love. It's not like, you know, I wake up with an erection this morning and I might be in love, you know, kind of energy. It's really, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I, I laugh at my own jokes, you know, sometimes I, <laughs> no, it's, um, you know, it's a King of Cups energy, so it's a beautiful energy of, of maturity of, yeah, I know what I want and I want Leo, you know, um, and they are so happy about it, you know, there is a lot of happiness actually in the King of Cups and um, also in the Nine of Cups. Now, mutual energies between you and this person, um, Leo, and again, can be Aries, strong energy. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, you have Virgo twice for some of you. Uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Now, mutual energies, the Judgment and the Ten of Pentacles. Honestly, this connection has tons of potential uh, for a rebirth. That's a judgment, that's the awakening. Um, that is, now I know better. Um, this is I'm going to make things right because the judgment is this energy of given the second chance or given another chance, I'll make things differently. And um, what they would do differently, um, Leo is the Ten of Pentacles energy, which is again stability. And it, it is this energy of I want your hand in marriage, right? That's the Ten of Pentacles. This is I want a life with you. I want to have a life. Um, it's the energy of kids for some of you, right? Um, and legacy and future and long term and so on and so forth. And for some of you might have been married to this person actually. That's how we get the emperor twice also, um, right? Authority and uh, formal um, commitment. Um, and uh, that's how we get the Ten of Pentacles. How about I come back home? How about, you know, how, how about I start to spend time with you? And then we'll see if we have a second chance at marriage, right? 
They really want you, um, Leo. They really want you. I'm not sure on your side with the Two of Pentacles, Three of Swords, right? You come to the table with this energy I juggled. It was so uh, painful in the past that I'm going to get the... Um, I'm going to deploy the Emperor approach, right? While this person is, I've been cold, I've made mistakes, I put all this on break, but actually I want wish fulfillment, you are mine, right? That's the King of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Uh-oh, moving forward, you are in trouble because love is coming your way. But the point is, and this is, um, Leo, we have choices, baby, we have so many choices because... Um, Coming your way, we do have the Ace of Cups and we have the Knight of Pentacles. Both are energies of offerings. Ace of Cups is the um, energy of a new love and Knight of Pentacles is the person that you already knew, had a connection with, is the friend that becomes lover. Um, it's the ex-husband, ex-wife coming your way and saying, you know what, let's take it slow and start anew um, and start something again. And you have both these energies, like you have to choose between people. It's a strong energy. This reading is screaming. Which one are you going to choose, you know? And um, and that's you in the hermit mode saying, you know what? I am going to shine a light on this first. I'm not sure I'm going to, um, you know, make a choice just yet because we still have in our energy this energy of hurt, this energy of pain, heartbreak. Um, and you know how it feels, um, um, Leo? It feels like you have the most... The strongest energy, which is one of the emperor, right? The strongest energy in terms of uh, approach, in terms of mind, in terms of energies, in terms of way of doing things. Um, and then you have the most pa painful um, energy, which is the three of swords. So we are still in pain. We are still hurt. We are still healing. Um, so it, it feels like concealing a heartbreak, you know? And maybe because we are so... Um, you know, um, because we had to show strength, right, in the past. That's how you show up in the past yourself, saying, you know, we had to exhibit, right? We had to play the strength card and be strong about it. And, um, you know, when nobody was watching, we were struggling like this with the Two of Pentacles and trying to uh, keep the world for not falling apart, right? Keeping it together. And now it looks like, you know, we got into the game and it became a... You know, th this is um, this is a reality. Whatever we were kind of faking in terms of strength, and it it is good. It it's an approach, right? Fake it till you make it. Well, that's the, like a, that's a real stuff. So probably we are a little bit juggling there and a little bit um, you know exhibiting a show of strength um, in some way, and now it became reality, and we might be concealing some pain. And actually, this is kind of the universe saying, well, how about we look into this, right? How about we dig deep and see uh, for real how we, how we feel about, about this? Because we have some healing. And, and I say that, Leo. And I say that. You know how much I love my family, Leos, right? Um, because we have a lot of masculine energies here showing up. We have um, people surrounding us. We have people wanting something from us. Um, and we have to make choices, right? And this reading so far, we're going to see while we have these uh, other energies. Um, we have strong energies, strong masculine energies, headstrong, um, emotionally strong. We have people in love with you, like the King of Cups. We have somebody strongly in love. We have somebody with the Emperor energy wanting to love and protect. And we have the King of Pentacles wanting to nurture, right? And again, provide. So we have all these masculine energies coming. And maybe this is the way of the universe kind of saying, but we are still hurting here, right? We need to heal something. And it's not about concealing. It's not about juggling. It's about real healing, right? And that's how we have this. Yeah, take me back with the Ten of Pentacles. We have a family. I want a reconciliation and a rebirth. I want to be together. And then you have energies of new love with the full and the ace of cups, right? So which one? Of course. Oh boy. Oh boy, Leo. This person of yours, um, you know, um, energy is coming their way. They do have the strength and the devil. Um, and the strength and the devil, right? Just saying. So... <laughs> 
that is a beautiful energy of attraction and passion and sensuality and playfulness both by the way are energies of lust um, this is the energy of sexuality and playfulness this is being bound this is all the uh, forbidden dreams and sensual dreams that's the devil right and then the strength is about taming themselves so they might um, come towards you with this energy of you know what I promise I'm going to be on my best behavior but when nobody's watching is a show of lust here <laughs> I know I'm having so fun so much fun um, simply you might be dealing with a Capricorn is as simple as that and um, your energy is all over them um, or some somehow some way you might be dealing with another Leo and they are so attracted to you like there is no tomorrow um, or simply a Capricorn is involved in this um, in this situation in this picture some way because it doesn't always have to be about the devil right it can very well be a poor Capricorn showing up right close to you and be getting in trouble I'm just saying I'm kidding but anyways um, we do have love so I tend to believe this is um, they have pure emotions about you uh, you show up in their energy some, so, somehow they, um, they, they carry through the day your energy with the strength of course they can be uh, stay strong um, this is again the energy of attraction being bound to you um, it is the energy of codependency I don't see toxic in it because we have so many energies coming from the heart so that is genuine love and genuine attraction that they have for you um, but again that is um, oh my god look at this Leo it's just amazing we do have the page of wands again the energy of spark um, chemistry uh, flirt and um, sensuality we do have the queen of cups and we do have the king of cups and the queen of cups so if you are dealing with a water sign somehow you are uh, pointed towards but please use your better judgment and then we have the knight of wands which can be your energy right can also be another fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius again the energy of passion it is the energy of one night stand but hey who's judging I mean why not you know if we have to to make sure we are making the right <laughs> I'm teasing you <laughs> I do hope you're gonna use your better judgment because this reading is absolutely screaming last sensuality spark chemistry you have one two three five energies in the whole reading I mean all the energy except the ace of wands we don't have the ace of wands it's the one missing but we got the strength card twice which is you and also the energy of last so um, and the devil so <laughs> let me tell you you are so your booty is in trouble Leo swear to God um, so we better make the right choice because absolutely it is the energy of choice that is an emotional bond you have with somebody king of cups queen of cups right that is an emotional bond and all their energy is coming your way and there's such a such a mature loving way right king of cups queen of cups together that's a world of love um, and emotions and the world of bonding and um, you know um, touching yeah, each other's um, soul in such a beautiful way and of course we have a touch of fire probably this is you Leo um, you know coming into this connection for some of you I'm not gonna lie that is love and then that is lust you know we have love for somebody and we might be physically attracted or um, having uh, dreams about um, you know um, somebody else we have a physical bond that's strong or um, a physical um, attraction it's, it's more than physical you know what I mean right I don't have to draw a, a graph or something right or God knows a, a pie chart or something I <laughs> I'm so happy I don't know <laughs> it's like well please <laughs> um yeah so you are so in trouble now leo let's ask for some guidance baby let's ask for some guidance such a beautiful reading and we had the six of pentacles all through the shuffling so it is reciprocation it is reciprocation and balance it is the energy of decisions it is the energy of justice so let's see what we are guided to do but absolutely you'll have to choose wisely um leo you will have to baby because it's complicated and they all come with mature energies um you know they have something to offer 
they are well established are you kidding me king of pentacles and the emperor right um so um all that to say all of them are dead serious so um and their your energy is all over them leo now let's ask for some guidance let's see what we need to do we take them or we run away so leo i believe we have our choice right um so the only thing that is real is love shift your focus back to love so if the emperor is all about money and the king of pentacles is all about money and the king of cups is all about love i wonder what would be the most evident choice i love this leo be authentic the th the only thing that is real is love be authentic in your choice be real and true to who you are and how you feel boy so we need to you know the um, head over heart well that is um you know be real about how you feel and choose love and we do have spend quality time together listen and talk to each other so we need to spend some time with this person and then we will be able to choose don't we isn't it that the normal course of things right we spend some time and then we choose am i going to have the emperor am i going to have the king of cups or am i going to have the king of pentacles now that's a tough choice because king of cups they show up with this um, emotional bond right and the other ones are showing up with stability it's like baby no matter what i will stay here and i will grow roots <laughs> I'm teasing you, Leo. Your, your booty is so in trouble because they are all attracted to you and they are all in love with you. So you are in trouble. Um, oh, yeah. Hell yeah. We need a new perspective, Leo. Uh, well, right? Only love is real. We choose love and we spend time with this person. Or maybe we need to spend time to choose love. You know, we need to see clearly, right? That's a message here. Um... So Leo, it's time to view things from a different perspective. So we are not looking at the situation from the right angle, right? That's the universe saying, well, you know what? How about we change our location to understand this? So you have the blessed gift to see past the current situation and envision amazing possibilities. Don't worry, the pause in momentum while you rethink your plan won't last. Embrace your uniqueness and allow it to serve you. Um, speaking of plan, you have the Emperor's current energy, so somebody here is really has something in mind and is about to make important decisions. And now we know it's your reading because we used three decks and in all three, the, the Leo energy shows up and you know you have the Sun. So this is you, you need to see things clearly and change your perspective about and make choices um in regards to all these people showing up with love so we do have positive recognition again about the plan so it says congratulations your plans have worked out perfectly and now it's your time to shine brilliant new ideas will present themselves to you and success is all but assured express yourself openly and honestly knowing that those surrounding you are trustworthy be open to unexpected opportunities Oh yeah, right? Before we choose, we stay open and we spend time a little bit. Why not? To discover them. See what they have to offer because we do have options over here. So, Leo, let's see what energies we need to get back into the flow. We have imagination. Wow. So I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. So Leo, your imagination needs to be put back into the flow. Um, and it's kind of interesting, um, you know, because we, we, uh, we do have the two of pentacles in the past. This is all about everyday life. This is all about who has time to be creative, right? It's like, no, let me get this done, you know? And the emperor is like, oh, please, has nothing to do with imagination and creation. It's more like, let's get things done. And we move towards the end of June and again we have cups and we have the Knight of Pentacles again being quite grounded and focused on 
So the universe is saying, how about we get creative a little bit? How about we take things easy? What else? We do have satisfaction. We have imagination and satisfaction. You let the energy of love guide you to self-approval so that others no longer define who you are. Are you kidding me? Satisfaction. I love this energy. You let the energy of love guide you to self-approval so that others no longer define who you are. Beautiful. Now, okay, I have to shuffle. That was one that wanted to come out, but hey, we have doubt. What's going on? I release the need to know all the answers, Leo. We spend time, we are authentic, and that's all right if we don't get all the answers when we want them to have. <laughs> this is crazy. You have imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. And then you have creativity. So you really have to be creative about this connection uh, or about this choice, right, of yours that you want to have. You need to change perspective. Again, you have to be creative. Change perspective and creativity came twice. You love to devise new ideas, innovations, and forms of illumination. And we do have bottom of the deck discernment. So we need to make a choice using your better judgment. So discernment. You are developing the skill to distinguish love from fear and truth from illusion. Are you kidding me? The whole reading is actually about choices and choosing with love. Um, right? Or choosing love, choosing with love. And now we end the reading saying, You are developing the skill to distinguish love from fear and truth from illusion. What is true love and what is an illusion of love? Um, Leo. Right? Discernment. You have to really see, actually, you have to bring that back into the flow. You need to see what is real love and what is an illusion and a dream and a fantasy. So, hey, Leo, you know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. Please let me know who you choose and why. <laughs> and then I'll hide the comment. Um, anyways, I'm just curious. So, um, and yeah, as always, please let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and come see me next time. Love you. Take care. Bye.